Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another 1-500 scale airliner review and today we're going to be looking at the Sky 500 Turkish Airlines Boeing 777-3F2ER. This is Sky 500 catalog number 0742TU and this is, uh, as soon as I can get it back in the frame, this is a 2013 limited release and is in the official sponsor of the FC Barcelona colors with Star Alliance logos. The registration is TC-JJI and the engines are two General Electric 90-115B1 engines. Or did I already say engines? Uh, whichever. Well, I've been gone for a little while. Um, I uh, went to prison. No, I'm kidding. No, I. Uh, yeah, I came down with a real, real bad cough, so that's why I haven't been posting very many videos. Um, but I should be okay now. I'm not, I'm not going to die on anybody. I know a lot of you depend on me for showing you these planes, so I won't die on you. But there is the box. What's that? Oh, piece of styrofoam from the packing. I just got this one in the mail today. Got it from Yellow Cat. He's a Hong Kong seller on eBay. There is the back of the box. Pretty, pretty sizable box. And here is the plane. It's going to be an ultra detailed plane. I mean, you'll be able to see. You can already see all the detail that's on this thing. It's got the wipers on the windows, the frames, Star Alliance logo. It's got all that junk on the door. There it is, official sponsor of that soccer team there, the Barcelona team, which is kind of weird because, of course, Barcelona's in Spain, not Turkey. But you can see all the all the detail up there. It's really really nice. It's another one of those where we're getting into that one one four hundred scale detail. I mean, it's really beautiful the way they did the did everything on here. Basically, the engines. I'll pick it up a little bit so you know you can. You can see other parts of it, but man, that's that's pretty cool. Got the soccer team standing there. Watch it turn out. It's not even a soccer team. Shows you what I know. But uh, it's got all the lines there, the escape path on the side. It's APU painted on the back. Pretty much the same thing on this side. And people talking in the background when they know I'm filming this thing. And the dogs barking, of course. But you know, it wouldn't be one of my videos without any of that, right? You notice I don't have the mat down. It's got a little antennas, and the, the, uh, there's that hatch on the front, just ahead of the landing gear doors. Uh, better see the GE logo. I mean, they really deck this one out. I mean, it really, really has a lot of, a lot of detail on there. Ooh, got a little close there. Or was that? Oh, right there. Piece of lint. Looked like a hair. That's oh, a little piece of lint. <clears throat> now I did get this in the mail. Um, this engine was broken off. It actually, it was actually broken off. You know, right here on the. It was taken off there, but it wasn't like broken, broken. It just came out of the slot. 
I wasn't gonna send it back to the guy for a new one just because of that. So I just use a little bit of super glue, just a little speck of it, and it's it's held in there for the past hour. Um, landing gears do not roll. Plastic landing gears on this, by the way. Sorry if I'm being real shaky here. It's my first video since before I was sick. Oh yeah, you know how I am about the engines. Real good detail on the engines. But uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, it's my first video back from being sick, and I uh, hope that went better than it could have been. I, I, I was coughing a lot earlier, but uh, I seem to have already shaking most of it. But that'll do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay? Later.